The $157 million upgrade to a deadly highway in Victoria's west that is already four years behind schedule is hitting yet another costly delay because activists claim its proposed route could cut through culturally significant Aboriginal land. There were claims in 2017 that the project would require the destruction of two birthing gum trees where some Indigenous groups claim ancestors came to have children. The Herald Sun reports figures involved in the West and highway upgrade project fear it will hit a dead end completely if activists exploit the findings of an Aboriginal heritage assessment. This is despite its urgent need for an upgrade. 160 car crashes and 18 deaths have occurred along it in the past decade alone. Joining me now is Victoria's Shadow Parliamentary Secretary for Roads and Road Safety, Bev MacArthur. Bev, this work is desperately needed, it's overdue, over budget, and now there are fears it may never be completed. Well, Rita, this is a shocking situation. You can only say these activists uh, put cultural heritage, so-called, ahead of people's lives. This is a dangerous road. It needs fixing. And, you know, the planning was started 16 years ago. I know when I first came into Parliament, People came to see me about it. It's still nothing being done. Now, the government's just got to stand up to this nonsense and build the road as it should be best built and put aside all this nonsense. But, Rita, this also points to the problem we've got with cultural heritage assessments because if you think this is causing massive blowouts, and it is in a government project, multiply this across the state with every housing project, every other mm. infrastructure project, every commercial development project, all being crippled by cultural heritage assessments. Uh, the state is going broke because of this, and for what purpose? Bev, we've already got the biggest state debt in the country, and by some distance, uh, we just cannot afford to have delays to major projects, minor projects, and I do hear complaints from even small developers that these uh, heritage laws can really frustrate their efforts to, to develop property and provide some much needed housing because we've got a housing shortage whilst this is all happening. Well, absolutely. And, you know, good luck if you think you can build houses in this state when you've got this nonsense going on. There is no criteria of how much can be charged for a cultural heritage assessment. Uh, you can't go to VCAT if you don't like the decision. It's just whatever you can pay to get a project up and running, that'll be good enough for the uh, cultural heritage groups that are, are demanding uh, this windfall profit in terms of cultural heritage. So don't talk about needing more housing if you've got this hold up in development.